welcome back. My name is Jennifer. For those who are new, welcome. I'm so excited that you are here. Today we have Sephora recommendations and I had a really hard time. It's hard to kind of narrow it down because there's just so many things that I really enjoy using. But today I'll be recommending some of my favorites and some of the things that I really love and think are game changers. I have some skincare, I have some makeup, I have some hair care. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we do so, I just want to really tell y'all, I'm so, so thankful that y'all are here and taking time out of y'all's day to watch this video. It just means the world to me. And I just am thankful for all y'all who subscribe. And if you haven't already, I just invite you to subscribe. It really helps me out as a content creator. And it just, it just makes my day to be able to meet y'all and create content for y'all. So, and I just really enjoy it. So thank you. Thank you so much. First up, I have three skincare products. They're from the same brand. They are from the Inky List. Now, full disclaimer, Inky List did send me some of these products. I love the Inky List, but this is not an ad or anything like that. They're not. I love some of their products. I've repurchased some of their products before. I think if you're looking for skincare that's at an affordable price, that is just really good, solid skincare, this brand is a really good one to go to. Now, there are three products that I will recommend because I have kind of drier skin. I have dehydrated skin. The first one is the polyglutamic acid. This is hands down, like honestly, one of my favorite skincare products. I repurchased this and repurchased this and I have a backup. <laughs> this is so, so great because it's just an amazing hydrating serum. It feels, it's kind of, I'm gonna show y'all. Is so, it's like a jelly consistency and it's just so, so hydrating and it gives such a beautiful glow to the skin without being sticky or too oily looking. It's so, so beautiful and I really, really love this. The next product I would recommend is the Hyaluronic Acid. This is really nice, a great staple to your skincare routine if you do need some extra moisture in your skincare routine. And then the other, the last product that I recommend is this. This is the Peptide Moisturizer. Yeah, this stuff is so good. This kind of reminds me of the Polypeptide Cream by Drunk Elephant. I absolutely love the pump at the top. It's just easy to use, honestly. And y'all, it's $14.99. So it's such a great deal. You get 1.7 fluid ounces of product. I really, really love this. And it's so hydrating and moisturizing without being too thick, too much. It's great to layer makeup over. I really like it. I think before we get into makeup, I'm gonna tell y'all about some hair care. So I have been using these two products by Virtue. So Virtue is a company out of Raleigh, North Carolina. I live in North Carolina and I'm like, I love supporting those that are within my own state. So <laughs> I was really excited to try these. I purchased these off Sephora um, a couple of months ago and I've been using them for a few months now and I absolutely love them. I feel like this one really helps to keep my hair hydrated but also cleanse at the same time. And I really, really appreciate that with naturally curly hair, it's always a little on the drier side. So I really love this particular brand. They're free of sulfates, parabens, salates, colors, dyes, really, really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get into a primer and a foundation. And these are the Dior Air Flash Primer and Foundation. So this is the Radiance Mist. This is Fair Delight Skin Tones. And then this is the Dior Spray Foundation Air Flash Spray. This gives the most beautiful glow, y'all. It is a flawless finish, kind of a light to medium coverage, buildable. You're not gonna get a full coverage out of this though. The finish is just really healthy, pretty, glowy. It's so, so nice. This particular primer, I do really like. I think it just gives a, such a healthy glow to the skin. You can wear it alone or with this particular product or with whatever foundation you you prefer. It just gives you that beautiful, healthy glow that I love. <laughs> it's funny how I kind of gravitate towards similar products within the same brand. It wasn't planned like that. It just kind of happened to be like that. But the Dior Concealer, y'all, I have mine in 2N. This is the Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I adore this concealer. It's hydrating, gives good coverage, but it's not cakey. Oh my gosh, I do not like a cakey concealer. And I don't wear a ton of it that much anyway. I just like to kind of pat a little bit under my eyes just to kind of give a, a nice kind of brightening appearance without being too heavy. 
There's a blush that I highly, highly recommend, guys, and I am wearing it today. It's the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush in Pink. It gives such a great, beautiful, healthy glow. It looks super scary, guys, in the pan. I promise you, it does not look like that on. When you apply it, it's like, here, I'll show you. When you apply it, it just gives this beautiful, pretty pink appearance. It's just glowy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was like four Dior products in one. Oh goodness, y'all. It's not all Dior, I promise. <laughs> Getting into bronzers. I have a few bronzers, y'all, because one's kind of a blush slash bronzer, but this is by far one of my favorite finds in the past like year or two. It's by Nude Sticks. It's the Nudies Matte Color in Sunkissed. This, y'all, is absolutely gorgeous. It kind of could be like a bronzer, but I use it more as kind of a cheek blush. It gives such a great healthy glow. This would be perfect for summer, guys. The next bronzer that I would recommend is by Bobbi Brown. I think Bobbi Brown has some amazing staple items. This is the bronzer, bronzing powder in Stone Street. And this is a matte bronzer. You're not gonna get any sheen from this great, beautiful standard bronzer. I've been using this a ton recently, y'all. This is a Tom Ford bronzer and highlighter duo. In Intensity One, this is the Shade and Illuminate Sculpting palette. This right here looks so, so dark for my particular complexion, and it isn't. It gives such a great, great bronze. It's cream, so it's going to give you a little bit of a glow, but not too much of a glow where you're like beaming from space or anything like that. This is so gorgeous, y'all. It can be put on your cheeks, on your kind of cupid's bow. Just watch it because it's so, so pretty. It gives such a gorgeous glisten kind of glowy see the sheen uh it's natural nothing glittery or anything about this it's a really sophisticated bronzer and highlighting palette i love it now if you're looking for a highlighter that you want to be seen from outer space <laughs> I'm serious. This stuff will, this, this is amazing. This is the cookie highlighter from Benefit. This is a gorgeous highlighter and I'll swatch it here for you. Look at this highlighter y'all. It is perfection. It's so beautiful. I'm just can't ever have enough highlighter, right? Like, look at that y'all. Ooh, it's so beautiful. I love the kind of pearlescent glow that you get from it. It is so fun and easy and actually not too, too crazy either. I mean, very wearable, especially even during the daytime. Inner corner, brighten up the eyes. Can you tell? It's, it's good. Eyeshadow palettes. I have two palettes here. They're, well, I could throw three in, but I'm going to leave it to two because these are the two that I really think are good, solid palettes, you know? So the first one I'm going to talk about is this Viseart palette. It's the Paris Edit palette. It's a smaller palette. It's probably, you can kind of tell it's about the size of my hand here. These are amazing. The quality is amazing. The actual pigmentation is beautiful. You can create such beautiful looks with these. The shimmers are really sophisticated, mature, great for every day. You can glam them up. Good palette here. I love the tones too. So if y'all know me, I love Natasha Denona. Now, I would definitely recommend some of her larger palettes. I have like the Biba palette and, and things like that, but I really wanted to recommend a palette that I personally have been enjoying and I think that you guys would like too. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Retro palette and I really enjoy this because I think the tones of these colors are just so beautiful. They're great for everyday wear. Kind of similar to like I was talking about with the Paris Edit from Viseart. This palette is mature. It's it's really chic and just great for everyday or you can amp it up for an evening look. Along with eyes, I always recommend an eyelash curler. This is the Shiseido eyelash curler. I use it all the time. I love it. I think it's just a great quality eyelash curler. I think everyone just needs an eyelash curler. That's it with eyes. Next are lips. The one and only lipstick that I'm going to recommend to y'all is one that I have on my lips right now. This is a Bobbi Brown shade in the shade Brownie. This is very sentimental. <laughs> 
This is the first shade I ever purchased from Bobbi Brown. It's an amazing shade. It's a staple item. It's just good. And if you're looking for a good lipstick that's going to be nice, it's a good kind of brownie nude color that would go with anything, this is what I would recommend. There are two formulas of lip gloss that I would recommend for the sale. I have two shades here in the same formula. This is the Crushed Oil Infused Gloss by Bobbi Brown. Y'all, this is so hydrating, not sticky, a great gloss. Unfortunately, this shade here is one that I purchased. It's called Spring Bliss. This one was limited edition. This one was gifted to me, but I think it's still available. It's called Free Spirit. Swatch both of them here. This is the Free Spirit one here. Let's see what it looks like. It's so hydrating. It's really, really nice. It wears well and it wears off well. That's one thing with lip glosses. Oh, they don't wear off well and they get all like, they kind of get this nasty kind of ring around your lip. That's so, I don't know. That's, that's a big no for me. <laughs> the second formula of lip gloss that I would definitely recommend is by Nude Sticks. This is their lip glaze. This is in the actual shade Nude. This is the shade Nude. It's really pretty. Now, if you're not into like peppermint or a mint fragrance, this, I don't know if you like this because it is mint scented, but it's such a great gloss. These are actually very similar in a lot of ways and I really like them both. All right, y'all, I think that sums up my recommendations. I hope this is helpful for y'all. Are y'all gonna shop the sale? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what been on your minds or what you're thinking to pick up if anything like I said these are just recommendations things that I just really really enjoy and I thought it might be helpful for some of y'all who who may be thinking that you might want to pick something up again I thank you so much for watching it really means the world to me and don't forget to subscribe below and like and comment and I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video bye y'all